Okay, here we are at Grammarly.com. I recommend that anyone who writes any kind of copy needs to check this out and use it. It'll improve your writing. Well, it improves my writing exponentially. So just come over here. Here's a little bit of some description. But anyways, you can check out your text for free. I just stole something off the internet and then paste it in here. They're checking it out for me. And they uh, show that I got two grammar problems, two punctuation. Said I did good on spelling. They say I could do better with my word choice. There's seven forms of style form errors. One incomplete sentence, and then they show that there's significant plagiarism because I just stole it off the internet. Just to prove a point. So I'm going to log into my account and show you what it looks like on the inside. Okay, this is what the dashboard looks like. This is, we're at the My Grammarly. This is where all your articles are going to hang out. This is your profile, your subscription status. This is where you log out. Down here they have a an add-in for Microsoft Office that you can download and integrate it into your Microsoft Office. So we're going to drop that article I took into the new. I'm going to throw a title in here. A placeholder title anyways. I'm going to drop that article I stole right here. And let Grammarly do its thing down here. It's giving it a score of 87. It's got 12 critical issues. I drop that article in here. I come over here and I can choose my document type. I can turn that on. My grammar's on. Punctuation, structure, style. And then depending on what style of article you're writing, they have tons of options. You know, if you're a student or if you're just creative, casual writing, business writing, you know, you can memos, proposals, technical, documentation, medical, you know, there's all sorts of them. I like to turn on the plagiarism checker. It says right down here, 97% unoriginal. And then this is my other favorite. I always turn on the vocabulary enhancement. Okay, it's been enabled. So now you can see, I'm not going to completely rewrite this whole article, but if you go through an unclear acedent, I usually change, turn that to that, and is, unfortunately, they, there is a couple. If it makes sense, change it tells you vague word important. You can click here and it'll tell you to go to outstanding. Also the color of the light is outstanding. Maybe not. So if you don't like their first choice here, just double click on the word and they give you all sorts of synonyms. So you say, also the color of the light is important. Is crucial that sounds good and then another an overused word is light and click there once bright no probably not because which are ideally a mix of light yellow not bright yellow okay so double click that word of uh, light yellow and orange bright luminous radiant Mix of rich yellow. Yeah, rich might be good enough. Vague word, they're saying rich is a vague word. You know, not all of this really is critical. And then home, they say it needs a comma. Artificial needs capitalized. And chickens needs capitalized. Chickens are.
I don't really know what that sentence means, but and clear sedents. I usually change those to that. Warm. Looks like it needs a comma. A vague word effectively. Efficiently. Maybe efficiently. Yeah, probably good. And now it, it's checking. I, it's raised the score, the grammar score, up to 95 just doing those few changes. And I went from 97 on original to 94. And there's still a preposition at the end of a sentence, passive voice. This isn't necessarily critical, but there's still 84 on unoriginal words, passive voices, incomplete comparison. And if you, if you want to know what any of this means, just click on it and it gives you a description. If you're anything like me, I was terrible at English grammar and all that in high school. It's the only class I ever failed in high school was English. So here's a description. So you read that and you, here's some incorrect and correct examples. And then you make your choice there. Now, if you wanted to completely rewrite this sentence, we'll do this first little bit right up here. And, you know, a lot of chicken coop owners are worried about the feasibility of rearing chickens over the cold winter seasons. So a lot of chicken coop owners. Chicken coop proprietors, keepers. Are worried, are concerned about the feasibility about the practicability. Okay, of rearing chickens. That's a good word though. Of raising chickens over the cold winter seasons through The cold, the freezing winter seasons, that could potentially be a problem. Potentially could conceivably be a problem. A difficulty, obstacle, quandary, dilemma. I don't know which, they're all good words. Problem. To be a predicament because chickens will only strive well and lay their eggs if there's an adequate strive. Drive adequately and lay their eggs if there is. I often chimes just turn that into two words an adequate, sufficient, and see it'll tell me that I should change the an to an a. Level. of warmth, of heat, and sunlight. Fortunately, luckily, there are a couple of ways a couple of ways several ways to overcome, 
to defeat these problems, these obstacles. The first would be to use an artificial form The initial would be, and then, you know, you can fix these and they don't always make complete sense, but then when you come back and reread it, you can touch it up, make it sound better. We'll put step. Would be to use an artificial form of lighting. A synthetic form. Method. And they want me to change and to a lighting within inside the coop itself. So it would feel it would seem as if the sun is out. Your chickens will not be able to tell the difference, so don't be concerned about that will not be able to will not be capable of telling the difference So don't be concerned. So don't you be, so don't be concerned about that regarding that. Okay, you can see that I just turned this first paragraph. I came up with eight unoriginal and eight unoriginal, which, you know, the initial step would be to use. That's a pretty common sentence. Action. The initial, the initial action would be to use a synthetic method inside the coop. I changed it from within earlier. Synthetic method of lighting You could change that to interior. Of the coupe itself. And then, you know, you just highlight this and just put your pointer and it highlights whatever is unclear sedent. Change that to that. But you can see that you can turn a plagiarized sentence into a completely new original sentence. See, a lot of chicken coop owners or keepers are concerned about the practicability of raising chickens through the freezing winter seasons. That could conceivably be a predicament because chickens will only strive adequately and lay their eggs if there is a sufficient level of heat and sunlight. Luckily, there are several ways to defeat these obstacles. The initial action would be to use a synthetic method of lighting on the interior of the coop itself so that it would seem as if the sun is still out. Is out. See, I, left, I took still out of there, I think. 
Your chickens will not be capable of telling the difference, so don't be concerned regarding that. Or this, regarding this. And now I got down to 66% or 73% unoriginal. And then they also, if you want, this is an added service they provide, you could send your finished work off to a proofreader and they'd proofread it for you. That does cost extra. Let's see what they charge. If you want it back in 24 hours, $11.38. That's two cents per word. The most popular is get it back within three hours and they charge four cents per word. Or if you want it back super fast, 30 minutes. Oh, this isn't available yet. But their proofreaders are always available 24 seven. Masters in PhDs, degrees in English. They have multiple proofreaders, ensuring a lightning fast turnaround. So, you know, if, if this is important to you, you might want to consider this option too. But mostly I just change it. If I, you know, you order some copy from a, a writer and they send you something and maybe they're, you know, an outsourcer in like the Philippines or something or India and their English isn't so hot you can totally just throw it right into Grammarly and you can see oh man they plagiarize the whole thing then you can give it back to them I also use Copyscape for checking plagiarism because Grammarly doesn't always catch the plagiarism but it will almost always tell you if you got short eight eight word sentences and stuff so that's Grammarly, and I totally recommend that you go and get this program. It's all on it's online, so it's nothing that you have to download. It's web-based, so it works for PC and Mac. 